Hello, I'm here in UK. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Polish Pete, eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies' clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. <coughs> yes, I have arrived. It's Monday about half past nine, maybe ten in the morning. I've got light so I can start photographing. Uh, I've been here for a while. We arrived on Saturday evening, well afternoon. Uh, didn't do anything on Saturday. Came here yesterday for a few hours to just tidy up. I've done a good job really of tidying up. And uh, yeah, and today is Monday and I've got my uh, poly mailers done. I hoovered here a bit and I've done the stock take yesterday on the loft and here. All I've got left is about, what, is it 12 boxes? I believe it's 12 boxes that are in the kitchen. I need to do them, but I'm going to do them tomorrow morning when it's still dark and I can't photograph things. So I'm going to do them tomorrow. I'm going to pick up my uh, stock tonight. Uh, I already have some. I'm going to show you in the moment. And yeah, today I'm going to start to photograph. I need to do a lot. I need to do a lot because uh, I've got 600 uh, auctions, free auctions, my entire month allocation. I didn't use them. So hopefully I will be able to photograph and pack as much as I can by Saturday 7 p.m. And I will be able to, hopefully I will be able to list them as well. That's the, the, that's the main point. 600. I don't think I'm gonna do 600. It's it's like five days, five and a half days to do it. I may not be able. I'm not that fast, let's face it. Uh, but I'll try to do as much as I can. I can still list some on Sunday, uh, but I would rather list them on Saturday because uh, that's when I've got. I had the most luck with my auctions was saturday uh, i'm doing conceptual work in my head uh, around the method shown by health hey for sales her hey for sales sorry jeff uh, so i'm trying to modify this method and adapt this method for people who are in uk and don't have as much or as many free listing allocation as it is in UK because obviously we've got different shop structure we've got uh, that featured shop which is 1500 items and then we've got a massive jump to that anchor shop which is unlimited uh, unlimited free listings but that's what 600 pounds a month it's not uh, it's six times basically six times more than the featured shop so it's not for everybody i estimate you have to have minimum a minimum of four four and a half five thousand listings to be able to really benefit from that anchor shop and obviously with that kind of that that kind of number of listings you may fall into vat threshold which most of us don't want to do because yeah it's it's additional tax, isn't it? We are dealing with uh, we are dealing with used clothing. We don't buy them on VAT invoices. So yeah, the only way is flat rate, and I believe flat rate is seven percent. So straight away, out of the uh, out of the blue, is seven seven percent of your basically of your sales goes to tax, and that's you know that's only viable if you really grow a lot and quickly okay so uh that's what i'm doing the other uh, thing that i'm doing is i'm trying to break that pattern of slow sales days 
that was in the Sunday video. Uh, so I've done my dispatch. I printed my labels, printed out my labels yesterday on Sunday evening. And to be fair, kind of like thinking if I need to have a slow period after printing out those labels, let's have it during the night. And to be fair, I've done my dispatch this morning, went to the parcel shop already, and I already have one sale. So maybe that's the way to go, actually, to print them out in the evening and let that dry period to be overnight. Uh, and I didn't send my offers yet. And I'm, I think I'm going to wait with those offers till the evening. That's what I did on Thursday. So Thursday, I used to send my offers, then do my dispatch. But it was always quiet. So what I did this time is I was waiting till Thursday evening, sent my offers Thursday evening. Some of them converted straight away. And then I've sent another batch of offers on Monday on Friday morning when when I had those offer those watchers from overnight. That actually worked quite well. I had half a decent uh, Friday but then Sunday was dead Sunday was dead quiet I had first say like I don't know half past nine in the evening in the evening or half past eight something like that very late first sale on Sunday which is you know ridiculous because Sunday used to be my busiest day but then I had a few in the evening about four I would say three or four and yeah but still that was a bad sunday like 35 pounds or something altogether so not good at all and yeah we'll try to dispatch tomorrow as well again do the labels in the evening and dispatch in the morning uh, on tuesday and see if that will bring any changes like i said i'm going to pick up my stock today seven bucks of 25 kilo of ladies clothing uh, large sizes they are already paid for uh, let me show you actually what I have I've got these already these are 25 kilo bags from my supplier in Manchester uh, I don't know if you remember but in last vlogging videos I had two bags from him one was absolutely smashing the other one was not so good it was actually quite poor but i sorted out of him these were two different bags one of them was grade a the other one was grade aa or double a so that's why they were different so now i've bought from him half and half so i ordered from him 30 bags i have already paid for them uh, four pounds per kilogram so it's not that bad so 30 bucks like this one that's all large sizes sizes 14 and up this is 13 bucks over here i'm picking up seven today that will be 20 and i've got 10 more within a week or two to pick up from him so yeah that's how it looks like so yeah that's how it looks like uh, 30 bucks times 25 kilo per bag times 4 pounds per kilo works out at 3000 pounds uh, I gave him I gave him also 20 quid to bring that 13 bucks here which he did just for the petrol basically uh, and yeah, so I've got it here and I can work on it today. I'll bring more to tonight and 10 more bucks within two weeks time. So in the middle of my stay, basically, I came here for four weeks, which is basically 650 hours. And that is scary. 650 hours is very, very low. It means I have to photograph four items per hour 
whether I sleep, whether I eat, whether I work, whatever, four items per hour, uh, which is doable, but obviously I can't sleep too much. So how many items will be there? I expect about 70 items per bag. So I expect anything, anything like 2,000 to 2,500. Uh, of items I need to photograph them I will start with winter items for obvious reasons and like I said I need to list them by Saturday as many as I can because I have paid for all that uh, I had to take a loan to pay for that so they are charging me interests interests are not that high I will have to pay about 40 pounds a month 40 pounds and some change almost 41 pounds which means I have to sell you know when I sell 10 items I is I will easily cover uh, that monthly uh, monthly interest obviously as the sooner I pay it off the less interest I will incur so yeah because there was also a hundred almost a hundred pounds 98 and some change pounds of a fee for that loan which is not good but I couldn't find anything better anyway uh, the plan is to clear that loan by March and that's a reasonable plan I hope I will do it sooner uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to photograph them and I'm going to list them and take down my old stock and put just a new stock in just to generate more sales to sell them faster and pay that loan faster and as soon the loan is paid off i can then blend in some old items and let give them a chance to sell thanks to the velocity i will create with with those new items obviously that's theory because ebay is strange we all know that and yeah it may not work as expected and uh, yeah so basically i would like all my costs all my costs because as soon as i sell one item i should get at least six pounds back which will be five pounds profit and one pound for the item or one pound fifty for the item whatever it is so i expect at least six pounds per item back uh, so hopefully after 10 bucks I will clear the loan I will pay for all the stock I will pay for all those interests and everything else and 20 bucks will be all gravy doesn't matter what what kind of money I sell them for it will be just eBay fees and postage and everything else is gravy <coughs> I expect 10,000 pounds from those bags in profit will I get it I don't know and I want to repeat that exercise in March still in the old year old tax year this tax year that we have now so I can buy them lower my taxes and then hopefully next year I will make a flipping good profit because I need that profit to get the person that I care for to the UK. This year was horrendous, horrendously low, slow sales. And I thought I'm going to bring that person here after this tax year. But I think I'm looking at another year in Poland. But I need to do it. I just need to do it. I need to bring that person here and finally live with my family. So, yeah, that's the plan. To make a lot of money next year. So push all the costs to this year, this tax year, and then make a lot of money next tax year. And then I will be able to show home office, hey, I've earned so much last year, so allow me to bring him that person in which is basically what I need to do anyway let's get some bags let's try to open them 
let's try to split those items into like trousers, tops, jumpers. And I'm gonna start with jumpers and jeans and winter skirts. And then I'm gonna do the rest. I'm not in a massive hurry with summer items, but I still want to do as many of them as I can before I go home. Basically, I want to do it all before I go home in four weeks time. And then list them when I'm in Poland. So, yeah. Let's do some work, guys. So, guys, I've got this Levi's sweatshirt. It's a bit cracked, but still it looks all right. But I don't know if it's legitimate. Does that, does that look like legitimate to you guys? I don't know anything about these guys. I can't see, you know, that red thing. Oh, there is that red thing. It looks like that. Does that... Let's have a look at this inside thing, inside tag. Does that does that look like like you know like a real one for you? Does that look look legitimate? Is it a fake or is it a good one? I don't, I, have, I have no idea, guys. To me, it looks all right, but I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm not even fifty percent sure. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you can. I'm in the third bag, and we've got first def defected item. A ring is missing here, so I'm not going. To, I won't be able to sell it. Basically, nobody will buy it even for three quid. Well, it's not that bad. It's just the first item, so hopefully, there won't be many more. So I have opened four bags. So far we've got two coats, one there and one there. Uh, and that much knitwear. I was hoping for more, but it is what it is. These are shorts, so basically waist, because they won't sell before next summer. These are jackets, worker jackets. These are dresses, very heavy on dresses, which I don't like. Because if you get a cheap dress, I would rather get three three cheap to tops and squeeze out 20 quid out of them instead of that one cheap dress for a tenner. Uh, these are tops. Uh, very few uh, skirts. These are like winter tops. Uh, there's one set over there. And these are like... Uh, like a all the rest if that makes sense so pajamas uh some one leotard some pajama bottoms and a swimsuit things like that and these are trousers and and jeans there's plenty of jeans uh, normally i don't like the fact that there is plenty of jeans because it means heavy again instead of one pair of jeans i would rather have three four pairs of three four tops uh, which I could squeeze more money out of that but uh, being in winter time those jeans will sell a lot of uh, workwear trousers which always sell good for me in terms of brands it's not that bad it's okay it's decent uh, not like my trusted supplier from YouTube uh, from eBay but it's still good However, my trusted supplier recently didn't have much and it was only 14 to 18 and it was uh, more expensive. So yeah, 14 to 18 is not ideal. It's good, but it's not ideal. But we need more of those 20s, 22s, 24s. That's what we need. And there is plenty of large size jeans there. So that is good. I'm going to start to photograph now. Uh, I'm gonna do those uh, knitwear, then those skirts, and then I'll jump on jeans probably, or maybe I'll skip the skirts. I don't know yet. Uh, I may do those winter tops as well, because obviously, yeah, they they are in a season. 
yeah i think it's one o'clock is it i don't know to be honest uh let's have a look on the second phone uh it's 12 o'clock so it's noon so i've got at least three four hours of of photographing easily yeah i'll see you then right guys uh, it's getting six o'clock uh, sorry five o'clock getting five o'clock i think it's come on i think it's uh like 10 to 5. Uh, it turned out i started to photograph it turned out that i don't have my measuring tape so i started to look around look around look around couldn't find it and then i realized that last time i was here in uk i was replacing my decking so i said i bet i've put that measuring tape with all the tools all the other tools you know so and everything else so i went home yeah it was there but i had opportunity to grab a coffee and a sandwich because i haven't eaten uh, so yeah i came back and started to photograph and it's like i said it's 10 to 5 i'm i'm starting to lose i'm starting losing my daylight and when i'm losing my daylight it start to get starts to get a bit darker there on, in my photography area my bulbs are just not enough that's not strong enough uh anyway and i'm 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 bloody i'm bloody hungry and like i said i only just have eaten that one sandwich today and i had three coffees and that's it so and i'm up since like what half past six so i think i'm gonna go home i've done 66 today which is meh i've done all the knitwear all the jeans and all the winter tops so tomorrow i'm gonna come here tomorrow early before it gets bright and when it's still dark i'm gonna open a few more uh, bags and i'm gonna split them and i can and i will carry on with the winter items i need winter items there's no point to photograph shorts in the middle of the winter so uh yeah that's what i'm going to do tomorrow today i will still go and i still have to go and pick up that stock but i'm waiting for the guy to, to send me his postcode because ah, i just lost it somewhere i haven't got it so yeah so i'm waiting for that and i'm waiting for my wife to come back with children from the park because she said she's gonna go to the park so I'll probably set set off half half past six probably maybe a bit later and yeah I should be back by nine easily uh, well maybe not easily but I should be back by nine uh, yeah so six sixty six is done I've got my poly mailers for tomorrow so I don't have to worry about them uh, tomorrow morning like I've said I want to open some bags I want to put to the uh, whatever I photographed today I want to put the put that to the storage boxes when it's still dark uh, but that's the last job to do basically uh, on the list and I need to finish my I need to finish my stock tape i'm losing words i'm too tired so basically what i do when i'm still in poland i just write myself what's in the box what numbers are in the box uh, basically i write it down from ebay i go to my ebay wrote it, write it down and when i come here i just check what's in the box and if it's colorate correlates to that Sometimes there is an item in the box that is not here because it's not on eBay because when I was photographing it for the first time 
I, for example, forgot to take a photo of SKU number and that's why it's not there. I still have it listed in my scheduled listings. So as soon as I find it, I just put the correct SKU number on eBay and it's live. Yeah. But you need to do that stock take from time to time just to have a look if something strange didn't happen. Like, for example, you didn't lost you didn't lose like 100 listings out of the blue. Anyway, I'm rumbling here. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow or if I'm gonna record something in the car uh, when I'll be... Yeah, I'll show you what I have bought actually. Those seven bucks. Yeah. And then I'll probably finish this video and upload it tomorrow. Hopefully, so you can see it, and then on Tuesday, on Wednesday, we're gonna do what's sold. That's it. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I'll see you in the evening. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got the stock. I already unloaded. So, yeah, it's super late. late. Took me longer than I thought. I stuck in Manchester in traffic both ways yeah i'm going home and i have a good night's sleep if that's the end of the video then take care of yourself god bless you all and bye bye